Pantai hingga hujung tahun ini sekiranya terdapat peningkatan kes. Pada masa yang sama, tindakan pembendungan perlu diperlaksanakan. Separately, health authorities are urging sick passengers to come forward after taking a ride on the X-Pipe Sumeran train from Johor Bahru to Tempat on November 10 in the C6 coach. According to Malaysia, Kini became the first contact with the passenger who tested positive for COVID-19. Saya alakan, saya alakan. Itu saja? Itu saja. Eh, eh, dah satu. Ada apa? Apa yang baru dengan Apple Pie saja? Apa yang baru dengan Apple Pie? Apple Pie. Apple Pie. Big Mac lah, Apple Pie. Apple Pie, eh? Berapa? 12? 95. Meanwhile, in foreign news, lockdowns have led to an increase in domestic abuse reports globally, okay. including 25% in Argentina, 30% in Cyprus and France. The United Nations also warned that the situation is also undermining the fight against female genital mutilation and forced marriages. In Hong Kong, pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong has been remanded in custody today. He pleaded guilty to charges of organizing an unauthorized assembly near the police headquarters during last year's anti-government protest. What we are doing now is to explain the value of freedom to the world through our compassion for whom we love. So much that we are willing to sacrifice the freedom of our own. I'm prepared for the thin chance of walking free. This case will draw the world attention to the arbitrary power of the criminal justice system, which impartially is manipulated by Beijing crackdown and the systematic violence in greater detail. In football, Mohamed Salah has been given the green light to return to training after testing negative for the coronavirus. This comes after the Liverpool striker tested positive for the virus while on international duty with Egypt last week. In business news, AstraZeneca says its COVID-19 vaccine is mostly effective without any serious side effects. Data from late-stage trials in Britain and Brazil show the vaccine developed by Oxford University was 90% effective in preventing infection when it was administered as a half dose. Back home, Akhtiata group assures all its cybersecurity protocols remain intact, despite confirming that one of its former directors had been indicted on 21 corruption charges earlier this month. Its chairman, Tansri Jamaluddin Ibrahim, told the FM's Breakfast Grill the telco will